Xpeng make some bold claims about the car. Firstly, it has the looks of a coupe. It has the space of an SUV and the comfort of an MPV. Possibly you can see behind me an advert from Xpeng which claimed that this car can fit inside it 33 20-inch suitcases. Well, we're not going to try that today, but let's try to see how actually this car does perform, particularly when it comes to its self-driving ability. Xpeng have certainly positioned themselves as the supposed leader in the Chinese market. And what I'm about to test in a moment is the XNGP system. As I mentioned in the introduction, this now uses a purely vision-based system and does not use LiDAR. As you can just see, we just came to a complete halt um, because of the traffic lights and the traffic. One thing I noticed just now as we accelerated from the traffic lights that the actual acceleration is relatively gentle compared with what I might expect if I were driving myself. It, I should point out that the acceleration time of the top spec car is 5.9 seconds, zero to 100 kilometers an hour. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Xpeng are claiming that this has SUV levels of space. Does it? Well, for the boot space, there is 725 litres of space available. When you put the seats down, that extends to 2,221 litres. That is certainly a lot of space. Xpeng are also claiming that it has MPV levels of comfort. Well, I'm not quite so convinced by that. Um, if I'm sitting in the rear, the headroom is not quite to that level, although leg space is very good. There are a lot of comfort features though in it. We've got things like the massage seats, heating, ventilation, etc. Xpeng are obviously hoping to replicate the success they've had with the Mona M03 launched earlier this year, which has been one of their best sellers. Will it do that? Well, time will tell, but there is certainly a lot going for this package.